Has it been two weeks already? It's time for another episode of the Check Your Feelings podcast. Man, time sure does fly when you're having fun. Look, if you're hearing my voice or you're watching this video, that's probably exactly what you're here for. Episode three of the Check Your Feelings podcast. And let me tell you that this was the most fun that we've had filming this podcast so far. We had an absolute blast doing this. So as always, leave your comments, leave your feedback. Let us know how we can improve. Let us know how we did. But honestly, I'm just going to get out of the way because you guys are going to have a blast with this one. Y'all have a great day. Dude, the minute that somebody told me I was too short to be a model, I was like, f*** it. Yeah, they told me I was too fat to be a model. <laughs> Did you ask them? No. They would no. be like, they would, yeah, there's dad bod models I mean, now. Now there's dad bod models. So if anybody wants me to be a model. Yeah. Would you really? I don't think you could. I don't. You got to take that stuff pretty seriously. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. To be a model. I haven't taken a single thing serious in my entire life yet. <laughs> Why would I start there? I don't know. Parenting? I didn't take that seriously. <laughs> yes, you did. Employment? I really didn't take that seriously. I know. TikToks? Don't take that seriously. Love all of it. And you're, you've are you been like so successful. We talk about this a lot. What? The fact that I don't take anything seriously? That, that like stuff just happens. Because I don't take it seriously. I know. I don't expect anything out of it. I know. I don't expect anything to be anything. I'm doing life all wrong. Don't expect. It's just life. Just mm-hmm. live. Enjoy mm-hmm. it. Enjoy the life you have. I'm and doing then it all wrong. Eventually, you're just going to die. So, I mean, why, why would you take it seriously? Because none of it really matters. Nothing really matters. I'm in the wrong career field. Anyone can see. <laughs> Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. <laughs> and on that note... Did you guys like that harmony? <laughs> it was so great. We're here for episode three <laughs> of the Check Your Feelings podcast. Yep. What up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to episode three. <laughs> We've been we're, doing in, this. we're in South Kakalaki. We've been doing this for... Couple few dare weeks. Just had another episode to drop, and we're gonna make this one to see what happens. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This this episode is titled. Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the title of this episode. <laughs> so we're just gonna see what happens here. Anyway. Anywho, we're just gonna move right along. Moving right How- along into okay. it. We don't have Mrs. Dadbod again, but we do have BJ in the morning. How's life? It's dandy. Anything exciting happen for you past week? So? I mean. I don't think so. I'm lame. Wait, nothing? I'm really lame. Nothing? Like, well, I'll tell you a story about mine. Okay. Okay, so I was traveling for yeah. work, and I decided to take uh, Mrs. Dadbod's vehicle, because she's got that nicer vehicle. Right. It's it's of a brand that I won't mention. That's it's super nice. nice. It's, it's a nice SUV. Yeah. And so I decided I was going to drive this thing to, I was going to Atlanta for work, and then I was going to go up to... Uh, Bryson City, North Carolina, mm-hmm. to look at cabins because because me and Mrs. DBV we've been saving our money and we want to buy a cabin finally. Yeah. Um, on the way to Atlanta, right outside of Augusta, mm-hmm. about half an hour outside of Augusta, I get the tire pressure warning. I'm like, oh crap. Okay. No. So I pull over to a gas station. I finally find one that actually has the air thing, and mm-hmm. I fill up the tire, and then I see a screw. There's a screw in the tire. Great. <sighs> so starts the adventure. So. Uh, I, I I assumed that the car did not have a spare mm-hmm. because this brand is notorious for not having a spare. Right. Again, I'm not going to say what brand it is. Um, and so I just pressed the button because it's got the roadside assistance. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, I've got a flat tire, blah, blah, blah. They said, okay, cool. We're going to dispatch a tow truck. So they call the tow truck place and they were like, it's going to be 90 minutes. I'm like, okay, that's not perfect. But it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, right? Right. And so... Uh, if I would have got the, the the vehicle to the 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 dealership by 5 p.m., they had the tire in stock. They were ready to put it on. Gotcha. So 90 minutes go by, the the company calls me, uh, not the tow truck company, but the the manufacturer calls me and says, "Hey, we're just checking on you. They said it's going to be another half hour." I'm like, "Oh, that's not cool." Yeah. So I call the tow truck company myself, and they're like, "It's going to be another hour and a half." So now it's just getting wild and crazy. Jeez. So I call the manufacturer back and I said. Hey, this isn't good. I need I need something better. Yeah. So they dispatch another one, but they ended up dispatching the same one, and then it turned into three hours. 
Seriously? Three hours. But wait, there's more. Uh, oh, so it was at this point that I got frustrated. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was pretty, pretty hot. Uh, so I decided to look and see if there was a spare tire. Mm-hmm. There's a spare tire. There's a spare tire. There's a spare of tire. Of course there is. Whipped yeah. it on, drove it to the dealership. The dealership was already closed. So I ended up having to stay in a hotel right kind of next to the dealership. Of course. Dealership was really awesome in Augusta. They took care of me. They put the, the new tire on mm. and off I went. Yeah. Right. The next day. Um, so do my work in Atlanta, driving up to Bryson City in North Carolina. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. It was so beautiful there because we had the color change going on and yeah. everything. Oh, my God. So beautiful. I can't wait. So I'm I'm right outside of the hotel that I'm going to stay at because I'm just going to stay there for a night, meeting with a real estate agent. Just mm-hmm. going to stay for a night. And uh, I get a tire pressure warning again. Are you serious? This time it's a different tire. The first one, it was the back passenger. The second one, it was time it was the front driver. Another screw. Stop. Another screw. <laughs> now, this, <laughs> what I found out was this, this this vehicle has very soft tire compounds. So basically... I don't know what that means. It, it, the, so it's really soft, so it makes the ride really nice. Okay. But with that, it makes it easy to absorb things off the road. Okay. Another screw in the tire. Yeah. So I'm at a gas station. I grab a tire patch kit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you know what? There's no way that there's a, a dealership for this brand anywhere near here. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm just going to plug it and I'm just going to go home. So I didn't look at cabins. Ballsy. I plugged it. I filled you it up. You didn't look at cabins? No, I didn't because I was too worried about this tire because I was, it was like it was going to be cold at night and I was, didn't know what it was going to do to the thing. Yeah. There's no dealership anywhere yeah. near here. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to drive home. So I drove home on a plug <laughs> slowly and I made it home. But it made me think about, you know, what did we have to do in the scenarios and like old times man mm-hmm. like when you didn't no have like the, yeah and there, there weren't no, cell phones there wasn't cell phones there Mm-mm. wasn't buttons or anything like <sighs> you had to walk your behind to the walk, nearest gas station right? ask somebody for help yep yep call, hope that there was a pay phone one tow truck driver yeah <laughs> you, whatever one you picked out of the yellow book yep right and wait and mm-hmm. hope that they actually came yep and you couldn't go on your cell phone or rent a rent a uh, hotel room no you you, that was if you had a cell phone. Because, like, I didn't get my first cell phone until... Well, that's what I mean. It's like, if you had to stay after the After we night, were married. If you had to stay the night there, you couldn't call an Uber like I did to help, you know, ferry me from the dealership to the hotel mm-hmm. with my luggage. Yeah. You yeah. walked with it. Yeah, you did. I know. Like, oh, I was like, holy... I mean, I was really frustrated. Trust me, I was really frustrated. But then when I stepped back and I thought, I'm like, man, we got it good. We really do. We got it. Because I just press buttons. I go on my phone and I do things and the Uber picks me up and the hotel is ready and Mm -hmm. everything's done and it's all magical and I just use my credit card and it's, oh my God. Yeah. Do you still carry credit cards? I was wondering about that. Like, do you still carry the actual cards or do you just have everything in your phone? No, I still carry the cards. I don't trust it being on my phone. Because if I lose my phone and, you know, all that stuff, I don't put anything... Like that in my phone. I do. I'm 100% like my wallet. Really? Yeah. Now, I I try to just keep one. Like on your phone? Yeah. No, okay. no one on my person. One okay. card on my person because I'm very nervous about identity theft and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't put anything on my phone. I mean, I still carry them like just in case something happens and they, because there's some, pla- some places that don't have like the tap to pay. And you do have to use your physical what card. If you, like, what if, what if you were, I mean, back in the day, you didn't have a credit card. They didn't even have credit cards back then. Think yeah. about it. It's either you wrote a check mm-hmm. or you had cash. Oh, gosh. That was the only way to do it. I was so, listen, I was so frustrated the other day when, like, I had to pay for, um, I think it was a field trip. Because I had to go and physically get cash because I don't have checks. That's I have not- checks for one thing. There's yeah. only one thing that I have to pay yeah. via check. And it's once a year. And it's it's the, the the maintenance dues for the roads here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I have, have checks like, for that. Don't have checks. I, I have checklist checking. I this year <laughs> I actually got new checks because I was my checks had two addresses ago on it. Oh wow! I was <laughs> that's how long it. That's been, how long it been since you wrote a check. Wrote a check. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, we're up to date on our check situation. But I had just amazing how different it was to try to live. And trying mm-hmm. to travel back then, how risky it was. Yeah. Especially like when we were travel with, you know, mom and dad and all of us together. Can you imagine three kids and have that scenario? Because I think I, I, I recall that happening one time. Really? Where we actually had a flat tire. I think it was coming from Arizona to wherever we were going. Mm-hmm. And we had a flat tire and it was like that. 
Yeah. And I think it was just dad. Yeah. This is, this is just crazy. This yeah. is crazy. Like, ugh. like we complain about a lot of stuff for today versus yesterday mm-hmm. where yesterday was better. But this is one of those scenarios that is not, it is not good to be yesterday. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. No, <sighs> not at all. So well, I'm that, glad you're safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe. I'm happy. Uh, we'll wait for Mrs. DBV to get back, and then we're going to go do the cabin search together. I was going to try to do it while she wasn't here and, you know, get a pre-look. Yeah. But obviously, that's the other thing I, I kind of realized is, like, when the world tells you something, you need to listen. Mm-hmm. Like, the first tire was the warning. Mm-hmm. The second tire was the, no kidding, seriously. It's yeah. not the right time. You afraid you're going to go to like a murder cabin after that? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? You know what I did? I don't get to find out what was going to happen next yeah. because I heard the voices of the world telling me it's not the right time. Just mm-hmm. wait for it and we'll do it later. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably smart. That's the best thing you should do. So if you're hearing the world tell you something, you should probably listen. Yeah. You don't want to find out what's going to happen next. Just keep pushing it. Yeah, exactly. All right. You have no updates. I mean, I'm, t- I'm, t- I have, I have nothing. Like you my, nothing. my life is, it's lame. Like I do school and I do family and I do this. Well, I want to point one thing out because when I was in Atlanta, uh, we did Top Golf again. People at work. Top Golf's so fun. I want to let you know that I don't know what it is about you and Mrs. Dad Bod, but I was crushing them. I was crushing. Sure you were. I, no, I, I sent BJ the score. I sent BJ the score because I was like, you got to see this because this is real. Over the fence, crushing them repeatedly. Mm-hmm. Repeatedly. Does Mrs. Da- Mrs. Dadbond make you nervous? Is that why you, I don't know you what couldn't it was, perform? But when I played top golf with you guys, that was horrible. That you really did. Horrible, you stunk. Man, I was. Oh, and me so and Mrs. Dadbond, by the way, were just crushing it. Crushing it. Uh, well, let's be honest. You were crushing it into the holes, which were like the the first row of holes. Yeah, but I mean, we were making the scores that we needed to make. <laughs> yeah, you did, we were killing you did, y'all. You did win on the numbers and the numbers game, and I was absolutely horrible that day. But I just want to let you know, I had I had the juice. Okay. When I was in Atlanta, All right, I had so the juice. Like repeatedly. Accepted. Like repeatedly. So there's a we row. We gotta go again. There's a row at the end. Uh huh. And I forgot about this. There's a row at the end where if you crush it into this row at the very end, mm. it's like a lot of points. <laughs> and I repeatedly was crushing it into the hole at the very end of the thing. Mm. Even even my coworker was like, dude, if you get that thing dialed in, you're going to be you know, a beast. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I've always known this. I can hit a golf ball. I can't actually play golf because that's a horrible sport. Whoever came with the game of golf is just – they don't like – themselves or they don't like fun they don't because like there's their families fun. there's nothing fun <laughs> about a game where you have a ball that the you know this size really small ball mm-hmm. 400 yards and a cup mm-hmm. and you're supposed to hit it off a little toothpick <laughs> with a hockey stick basically and make it go into that hole and then you got to count the number of times <laughs> that you hit it yeah BJ in the morning loves golf. Robin Williams, the Robin Williams bit about golf, I love it. That's the best thing <laughs> yeah. in the world is his bit because he says he's acting like a drunk Scottishman, and mm-hmm. he says, and he says, and every time they swing at it, we'll call it the stroke because that's what you gotta have after you swing so many times. <laughs> and just for fun. R.I.P. I love Robin Williams. Just for fun, <laughs> let's throw some water in there and some beaches. <laughs> It's hilarious. That <laughs> Robin Williams bit is the best. Yeah. But it's true. Golf is a horrible sport. I don't, I mean, I like riding around on the golf cart and drinking. That's fun. That's the only way it's palatable. Yeah. <laughs> is if you're hammered. Yeah. It's just riding Yeah, but around. most of the time, people are hammered. Oh, that's, the, I, I, I understand why. I've never actually golfed before in my life. Like on an actual golf no, course? No, never. You never have? I have clubs, but I bought them for the driving range, <laughs> just for fun. For the driving range? Yeah. Okay. So I can do the putt putt and I can do the driving range, but I've never had the the stomach to put them together. You gotta BJ in the morning. You gotta take him. No, you because I don't in. think he's got enough patience for me. <laughs> he doesn't. He'll start throwing stuff. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do golf. So that that also happened on my little adventure. You know what Top Golf needs to do? They need to like incorporate some kind of like reward system. They do. 
Like you win stuff if you have like a super high score. Oh, you mean like you want like Chuck E. Cheese? Yes, that's <laughs> what I mean. They need to they need to like <laughs> melt it. And if you feel okay after you hit one of the back oh, row, prize. <laughs> the, the tickets come out. Yeah. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I don't, Listen. I don't think that that's what they're going for there. I know, but I think that they like should. Like you get a free eraser after you get five tickets? <laughs> <laughs> don't knock Chuck E. Cheese. I freaking love Chuck E. Cheese. I love it. Well, they should put a ball pit in there for your weight room, you know? <laughs> have a couple of drinks, jump in the ball pit, get ready to go. An sleep. adult ball pit would be a bad idea, dude. <laughs> they have adult ball pits. You got to go to um, um, like Sky Zone. That's not yeah. an adult. That's not made for adults. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Sky Zone is made for adults. No, it's not. It if is. you guys don't know what Sky Zone is, in, the Sky Zone is this fun park that they have here, and I think it's a franchise, right? Yeah, it yeah, is. It yeah. Is. And so basically, it's a bunch of trampoline. It's trampoline park. It's an yeah. indoor trampoline park. Indoor trampoline park. It is made for adults. No, it is not. Bull Baloney. <laughs> is there a bar there? I think there is. No. Is, is that wait wait? No. Is, is that the qualifier? Is that the qualification? Is, yes. yeah, is that the qualifications for an adult uh, for, to make establishment? It, an adult establishment it, has to have a bar. it has to have a bar in it. The churches don't have bars. Wait, Chuck E. Cheese sells beer, but churches don't have bars, and they're an adult establishment. No, they're they're an everybody establishment. Well, so is Sky Zone. Okay, but churches most churches don't believe in drinking. Oh, so so Sky Zone doesn't believe in drinking. It's not an adult. We're just yes, okay. it is. <laughs> agree to disagree. We've had so many birthday parties for our kids at those places. Like I, I always went whenever I was whenever I would go. We, when the kids were still in uh, early high school, we would go all the time. That's what happened to your knee I don't know and what your happened. hip. Something happened. <laughs> it's not but on made the dodgeball court. On the dodgeball court, I was a god. <laughs> God, I mean, I was a big target. He was he was going nuts on those little eight year olds. <laughs> oh, I was. I was like, you know what? No, because they had they had they they separated into a kids uh, uh, dodgeball court on one side, uh-huh. and then you had the grown ups, which was basically fifteen and up on yeah. on this side. Mm-hmm. And there were some dads in there. There yeah. were some dads in there. And I'm not saying that there weren't a, that there aren't adults in there. Like there are adults that are that are going, but it's not like it's not marketed for adults. That's a lie. <laughs> Those kids don't have the money. They have to market to adults. Yeah. All especially, right. especially dads. They have to do it. I don't know. Where were we going with this? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Where we're going. No idea. Ball pit. We were talking ball about ball we were talking about top golf ball pits. And and adult ball pits. And I just think it would be a bad idea. Yes, at Top Golf it would be a bad idea. Because <laughs> Top Golf so serves hard drinks. Very mm. hard drinks. And ball pits, especially ball pits. The foam pit at Sky Zone is okay. Except for the foam pit at Sky Zone, you can't get out. You no, know, you're stuck. I mean, <laughs> you get in there and you're stuck. It's just like little, quicksand. Yeah, yeah. You just literally kind of die there mm-hmm. and hope that some kid doesn't jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I it's because it's, it's foam. I mean, you can't even swim out of it. I, I only, if they did ball pits that big, I don't think, I think you would die in there too. Yeah. Because. You have no leverage. We need to, like an engine hoist to get us out. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me a life raft yeah. or something. Don't they have like the the like monkey bar type swing that you like swing into the foam pit? Yeah, Isn't that, that, that the that's concept? That's how you get stuck. That's how you get stuck. Oh yeah, that's exactly the entry <laughs> method. So you trampoline, you you run and you hit two trampolines and then you're in the ball pit. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I miss the good old days where I could where I could jump around like a kid. Oh, I, I, you would see kneecaps flying everywhere if I did that now. <laughs> no. Kneecaps. And Maybe when I get that new knee. <laughs> new knee, new hip, <laughs> new back. I would be sore for like a week. And this was probably five, ten years ago. Mm-hmm. I would be sore for a week after doing it. But I loved it. Yeah. Loved it. It's a good workout. I would go in there with knee braces on. And he just is oh preparation. <laughs> just be ready for it. He's a professional. Because it was the dodgeball, man. There's yeah. something about dodgeball. You can never grow out of the desire to play dodgeball. I Yeah, I agree. Especially as a dude. And then you throw trampolines in the mix. Yeah, I don't think you have to be a dude. Like, I loved it, too. I mean, there, there were some girls out there. Yeah. There were some girls out there. Mrs. Dadbot, I think she played, like, once. And then she was like, I think I hit her in the face or something. And she was like, no, we're done. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, sorry. Um, Don't, never aim for the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, no fly zone. <laughs> so hear it when it hits you in your ear. Oh, the sound, and the oh, smell of those balls. Ringing. The smell of those balls were awesome. Like yeah. they smelled. Like they were that. That rubber. That it's neoprene the rubber. or mm-hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. And we have just, a couple in our garage. You guys play dodgeball at the house? <laughs> we should. Oh, we should. You should. We should do Definitely dodgeball should. for Thanksgiving. 
Yo, that'd be awesome. Oh, At your God. house. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. in the house. Not, yeah, we're not doing no. it in the house. She would kill all of us. <laughs> all of us would be dead. Oh. I like dodgeball because like I'm shorter than most people, so I can I can hit them when they're not like really where they're not really expecting it. Because like if, you, if I'm throwing it underneath and they're they're paying attention to all the other balls that are like flying from up here, I get but people you don't out really have quick. The oomph. Yes, I do. Do you have the rip? I mean, do you have the rip? If I get pissed off enough, what what's her rip look like? Is it like a? Oh, it's a, she gets feisty. I know. I mean, but like her her oh. velocity. No, it's 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 throw. quick, but it's it's like a, a quick precision dart. Okay, so it's not like it's a, not like it's a wind like up. A, it's not like a, uh, not like a like Randy Johnson somebody, throwing a <laughs> fastball. When I hit some of these kids and they literally blow back like fifteen feet. No, no, looks like they got hit with a cannonball. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you just are, feel maybe you feel like you just got hit with like Chris a blow is dart. A sniper, <laughs> and you just fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the job done, whatever. No, the allure from the, the dodgeball and the trampolines, it has to come from American Gladiator. Oh, Staying yeah. Staying up watching that. Oh. You, know, you, take, you take that competition, that dodgeball, yeah. you throw trampolines. It's, it just, you just have to go back to American oh, Gladiator. And that's why the competition, that's why it's so fun for our generation. Yeah. We got to play, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I was. Do they know, play that anymore? American you Gladiator? You just watched a documentary on no, it. No, it I, awesome. I watched a documentary, yeah, but do they play so, dodgeball anymore? What do you mean in school? Like in school? Yeah. But no. They probably don't have the rubber balls. They have the foam. No, balls. They have the foam balls. I went to another trampoline park. Yeah. The, the one that was in North Charleston. I don't know if it's still there or not. Yeah, it's still there. They have the foam balls. I was oh. so mad because mm. you, you, if the harder you throw, the slower the ball goes. Yeah. Because it catches wind. It's it's so it's so sad. Hmm. Never again. It's the woke culture. Yeah, but then they have, <laughs> oh my God, but then really? they, have the, they have the giant trampolines at that trampoline park. Yeah, I mean, they like do. Giant. Yeah. Like you could launch yourself up and grab that thing. There's like a I don't know, like a punching bag hanging for the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> do they? They don't. I don't. Yeah, dodgeball. I mean, we used to play dodgeball in church. Yep. On Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Lord told us we needed to play dodgeball. <laughs> he that's did. Crazy. Okay. Kill. Huh. KJ, What's the up? millennial. What's up? Let's talk about pumpkin spice. Let's talk about pumpkin spice. I am a 100% fan of pumpkin spice. And it is now officially pumpkin spice season. For those of you who don't know, we're down here in South Carolina. And it's now finally getting, getting to the point where the temperatures have stabilized in the 70s. Mm-hmm. For that, for us, that's cold. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, I actually broke my hoodies out. It's kind of chilly today. Them. It, well, I, I open the windows at night because it gets down into the 50s. Mm-hmm. And everybody else in the north is probably laughing at us like they 50s. Are. Like we get 50s in the day or highs. <laughs> but so it's pumpkin spice season. And, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm all about the pumpkin spice, especially the PSL. I love it. But what is your perspective on pumpkin spice everything? I think um, so. I love, love, love this season. Like I am. A, I'm that white girl. I am. I'll own it. <laughs> anything fall, anything pumpkin. Um, but I think it's gotten a little bit, a little bit far. Um, a little bit far? Mrs. Dadbod posted pumpkin spice. There's pumpkin spice Doritos now. Yes. Um, no, no, baby. There's pumpkin no. spice everything. Um, yeah, that, that's just. I think we have the pumpkin spice Cheerios in the in the cabinet. You do? Yes. See, I would eat that. No. They're not good? They're not good. Oh. They're not good. Um, because of because of the overuse of the pumpkin spice, it it's not it's not fun anymore. Yeah, it's supposed to be unique and special and uh, something you had to search for. Mm-hmm. You know, almost, you have to seek it out. Yeah, but now it's everywhere. But I mean, that's like, capitalism at its finest. We're gonna we're gonna try to milk dollars out of anybody. Spice. Scott's Turf Builder. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But everything is pumpkin spice. It's like <laughs> pumpkin spice toothpaste. Like, what's the point? I, I mean, just to money is money. But I don't understand. Like, do they, do, before they do this, do they sample people and be like, hey. They must. Are they smoking? They're white females. Are they smoking stuff when they're doing it? <laughs> like, is it's, it? It's definitely in a, a pot legal state. And they, <laughs> <laughs> Medicinal or recreational? <laughs> Either or, um, yeah, and th- I mean they have to. They have to have like focus groups that that say, oh yeah, this will definitely bring in some money. And so they they sprinkle it around and they see if it works. And if it doesn't, they don't bring it back like next season. If you season. blind taste tested me, a lot of the pumpkin spice stuff, yeah, 
I'd probably say no. Really? Yeah, I'd probably say no. What about pumpkin spice Oreos? How do you feel about those? I don't I don't like it. Oreos are supposed to be the chocolate and the cream. Now, peanut butter Oreos? Ew. What? No. Oh, my God. I the just, peanut butter cream pie Oreos, mm-mm. those are the ish. I like. I'm I'm one of those weirdos that I don't care for peanut butter and chocolate together. I don't. I just don't. Yeah. For everyone out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> she was my sister on the pill about this point. <laughs> now I'm just gonna have to go back through the lineage and do a DNA test because I think we might be missing something. There are people. There are people in the comments that said that I definitely need to do. One. <laughs> <laughs> do a DNA test? Yes. To They're see, like, you never know. <laughs> to see if you're my actual sister? Mm-hmm. Well, that's like episode 1,000. <laughs> yeah. We'll go there. We'll we go will there. go there. Hey, episode, we'll go if there. If we make it to episode 1,000, we'll... Uh, I don't if, know if you want to if do that. If I get... We need to do it with thing one as well. We do. We need to do all three of us. Has he done one? No, I don't... What, I don't DNA think, test? Has he done a 23andMe? I've done a 23andMe. No, I'm talking about a DNA test. Like a direct DNA test. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. talking about twenty three and no, me. No, I've done a tw- I've done a uh, ancestry. Okay. Um, well, that doesn't mean that I have because I haven't. Yeah, but we're talking about a direct because ancestry is going to tell you the the, and it's all, I don't know. It's based on the weather or something. I don't know what it's based on because <laughs> based on the weather. Like my kids have a completely different one than me. Mm-hmm. I have Shit. questions. I have questions. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, they're, 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 they have some they have some variances. They've got basically the same stuff, but they've got some variances. So I don't think that would be conclusive. Yeah. Okay. So just, a direct DNA test. Like a direct DNA. Like, are you my sibling gotcha. DNA test? We should do it. Yeah. Episode 1000. Maybe. I don't know. Why would we want to do that? I don't think I want to. I kind of want to know, but I don't want to ruin my matter? childhood. What does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Um... You know what I would love to do? What are we talking? I would love to mess around, swab my cheek, and send it to one of those dog DNA test companies just to see what happens. Super mutt. That's what you come back with. <laughs> no, that's literally what super Daisy. Breed. Daisy's a super mutt. Yeah. But yeah. But what, what would they do if they had a human DNA? What did they do with human DNA? Like, I really want to mess around just to do it. I don't just know. Just to see what happens. If anybody works for one of those uh, doggy DNA companies, can you tell us in the comments what yeah. would happen? Yeah. Let us know. Maybe send, I'm us interested. Free, send us a free kit. We I'm just see. saying that that would definitely it would be it would be I, fun. I, I'm going with uh, I'm going with like a toy, toy, toy. Uh, Don't you toy, call me a poodle? Toy Pomeranian. Really? Oh, are we playing? Uh, what? What? What, what, yeah. what, what, what dog, dog breed are we now? now? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a toy Pomeranian. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna f around and find yeah. out. Freaking miniature, freaking. <laughs> Doberman. <laughs> there you go. With a cute little uh, uh, di- diamond, oh, no diamond, diamond collar. collar. Yeah. All right. What do you think I am? You're like a big dopey lab. Dopey lab. What do you think? Because like you're uh, loyal and you're lovable. But oh. you're also kind of rrr, 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 uh, like, you know. I, I'm cool with the Dopey Lab. Super bad gas. <laughs> That's it. Bad gas. <laughs> like, <laughs> just just lays around a lot. Like, always always there. You know. Just part of it. Just funny. Just, just enjoying yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, Every once in a while, you get the zoomies all, and you. Somehow. <laughs> somehow your butthole's always showing. Like, come on, dog. Dog, go. Let's put that somewhere else. <laughs> Balls out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you be? What's that? What's that bulldog with all the face? The, the, the little the short with the short. The American legs. bulldog. No, the short leg ones. The English. The English, bulldog. English, English bulldog? bulldog. Are you talking about like the the Georgia bulldog? bulldog? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's an English bulldog. Yeah, I, I would say you're an English bulldog. Yeah, I'm an English really? bulldog. English bulldog. I don't. Yeah, they're sweet. They're very sweet. Yeah. But they don't do much. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. They don't do much. They yeah. can't. They'll actually die. You're right. Yeah. If they do, if they do too much, they're gonna go. Yeah. But they're cute and they're lovable. Hey, and no. everybody wants them around. A lot of them are on skateboards too. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> like, I mean, they're really cool. Some cool stuff. They're, some, they're cool dogs. I think I would see you as like a chow. A chow. A yeah. chow. No, because like mean. you're Chows big and, and lovable to the people that you love. No. But no. then the people that piss you off, you will rip their face <laughs> off. No, Doodles is a chow. He is not a chow. She's a chow shepherd, and she yeah, gets her but she's more from, shepherd than she her is. Her attitude chow. is chow, hundred percent chow. No, I would you say don't not. know him very well. 
<laughs> you never seen him give well, pissed off. Well, I never, off. I never got him like that. Okay, I never got I'm him. I'm not all saying that off. I did. <laughs> Somehow it's around you that he gets that way. Okay, because he's never seen it with me. Oh, he loves me. <laughs> I'm the most adorable little <laughs> Doby. Yeah, Pomeranian. I'm not a freaking so here's Pomeranian. A, here's the problem. Going back to the cabin. I made an agreement that if we don't get this cabin situation settled by Christmas, I have to get her a toy Pomeranian. <gasps> oh. oh, Mrs. Dadbod, you need to drag your heels because I want that puppy. <laughs> I want it. And here's why. She wants a toy Pomeranian. To carry it around in a purse? Just to trip me. <laughs> um, <laughs> she could travel with it. It could be a travel Oh, bottle. my God. I want it. Because she, <laughs> she could just take it. In the airplane with her, wherever she goes for work, mm -hmm. and she could have a travel buddy. Yep. So I want to get this cabin thing done because I don't need another dog. <laughs> well, you don't. I mean, it won't really. Well, I guess she travels a lot though, so she'll take it with her. Well, she can't take it on internationals. I mean, why not? Oh, because you got to quarantine, quarantine in the yeah. countries and whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, our friend Scuba Steve, he. He's in Panama now, mm -hmm. and to get his dog, it had to quarantine for like three weeks in Panama. Yeah, yeah. So imagine if it was going, she was going. What do they like, think the dog's bringing COVID? I don't know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know. It's so ridiculous now, just because of like yeah, how so what, viruses I mean, what travel, that, especially if that's your travel dog, and you take it all over these international trips, and he's quarantined forever. And it's like, if I was that dog, I'd just jump off the side of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hate my life. All I do is sit in this cage and keep getting quarantined. <laughs> Have you? the cute little doggy passports that they have though they're so freaking cute I you can just, get your dog a passport my dog doesn't need a passport my <sighs> dogs are my dogs are not the the two mainly the two are not going anywhere you read about that they're idiots <laughs> <laughs> idiots and y'all's two are horses yeah mm -hmm. they're not going anywhere either they need their own plane <laughs> <laughs> they're, listen they're they're on their way out they're they're, they're seniors they're, they're geriatrics they're for sure cattle for sure. We have Great Danes. So are you going to get more Great Danes? No. No dogs? I Toy maybe. Pomeranian? I maybe. I don't. Stop talking about Pomeranian. <laughs> <laughs> maybe down the road, I want to convince him to get miniature Dotsons. Um, because miniature, we, are those wiener dogs? Yeah. yeah, those are wiener dogs. Why do you want a wiener dog? So, because when we first got married, that's what we had. We yeah, had long hair that. wiener dogs. And they were the funniest little. They're trip Heads. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but his like life if he insurance trips, policy. <laughs> <laughs> but if he trips over one of those, it's a knee or a hip. No, they're they're. I just I love them. I love their personality, and you can take them everywhere. And like even even the long haired ones, which is what we had, they don't shed. So like, I don't know. Maybe down the so road. So you're gonna go from Great Danes. Maybe down the road. Whose nuggets are the size of my head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge. Nuggets. Always on display. Always. Their dog. Vader. His name's Vader. Yes. Um, that's what his, they decided his, to name him. His uh, cash and prizes. <laughs> Always <laughs> front and center. Something to, something to, <laughs> something to be seen there. Um, He's just my baby. But you're going to go from that to this. Maybe one day. But we need a break. Like, we need to be able to travel and not have break. to worry. Animal break. Because we have three cats, too. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not a cat person. <laughs> said that too and then oh my god no, they grew I'm not on a me. cat person i don't i don't want an animal to be around me that a doesn't care whether i die or not or b may instigate my death <laughs> because there, you gotta get the right cat don't trust them you gotta get the right don't cat trust them there's something about an animal that just looks at you and you could actually see them contemplating how to end you yeah we don't have those mm. ours aren't like that are you sure they're not not as obvious about it, at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like we we have rescue cats, and they're um, also they're happy because you rescued them. I think they're I think we they're on the ourselves. spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're oh. on the spectrum. Yeah. Not to be completely <laughs> honest, <laughs> they, there's not a whole lot going on upstairs because like you look at them and there's just like blank behind like, their eyeballs. It's like when you look at Leo. There's exactly. Nothing. There's nobody home. Exactly. Nobody home. We had uh, so uh, one of them. Her name is Spice, and she is literally she, like she looks like a sea otter. She just like so. <laughs> sea otter. She's so round. Everything about her is round, and when she rolls over, it's just like it's everywhere. And that's all she wants to do. She just wants to be petted and eat and be stupid. She loves her life. It's kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm doing good. You're doing great. I just kind of. <laughs> 
<laughs> lay around and eat and be stupid. Oh, we are so off topic. Well, who cares? We're it everywhere. We're everywhere. It's okay. It's because I'm drinking. <clears throat> it's straight liquor. It's liquor. It's straight liquor. <laughs> Notice this- that I have matching cup and shirt today. Y- you do. I'm wearing the gray shirt because somebody commented I shouldn't wear a white shirt. You're floating head. <laughs> They mm-hmm. said they said you could be a floating head if the plant wasn't behind you. Oh, oh, oh. Well, now I'm like, I feel like I'm blending even more now. Um, it's the camouflage hat. We can't actually see him. So, KJ. So. What was your first job? Oh, God. Um, my first job, my very first job, I was 15. And there was this tiny little hole-in-the-wall diner in downtown Somerville, which breaks my heart. It's not there anymore. Which um, one? The Old South Diner. Oh, yeah. And I was a server there. Wow. Yeah, that place was At great. 15? At 15. You could be a server? Well, they didn't serve alcohol. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It was, I mean, it was just like breakfast food and stuff. Like soul food. That, um, so yeah, that was my very first job. At 15? Mm-hmm. So think about it. Kids these days may or may not become gainfully employed. At ever. Eight, at 18. <laughs> ever. I wasn't going to say it like that, but at 18, even at 18, yeah. they may or may not yeah. become gamefully employed. At 15. Because my first one was at 14. Yeah. 14. You were 14. I was cleaning doggy doo doo mm-hmm. at a kennel. That kennel's still there. That uh, kennel is still there mm-hmm. for College Park Road Kennel. Yep. Uh, I think it was for like four twenty five an hour. Really? I think that's what minimum wage was back then. Yeah. Four twenty five cleaning up dog crap. Yep. That was a that's a, that's a crappy job. <laughs> <Do-do-do-do>. <laughs> Dealt Dealt with a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of crap in that job. Yeah, but I mean, like the the way that our parents raised us was like, if you want something, you got to earn it. You know what I mean? What? They were yeah, and I wanted things. I did. I wanted Shocker. things. <laughs> I wanted I wanted lots of things. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my first job, and I just kept working. I don't think I've ever been. I've been unemployed actually for two weeks yeah. since 14. Was it after you got out of the military? It was after I got out of the very first job that I had um, out of the military. I was let go um, and I spent two weeks without a job. It was the worst time of my life. Worst feeling in the world. What, what were you, do you mind if I ask what you were doing that I, you got let go? I was, I was security. Okay. I was doing security and safety at this, at this uh, manufacturing plant and it was a small manufacturing plant. So... The scope of work that I was assigned to do, they decided it was no longer needed Mm -hmm. because they were very small. They weren't like, and I was doing things that were big company kind of stuff. And when you're a small company and they have situations, they'll, you know, let people go based on their workload, et cetera. And and when you're in an overhead position, you're one of those places that could be like, oh, and so I was an overhead position and I was no longer seen as necessary. Okay. So, yeah. But ever since then, two weeks. You've only not had a job. I've only not had a job That's since crazy. fourteen. That's crazy. For two weeks, I was really lucky. Like I, when um, our older two were little, and um, BJ in the morning was in the Air Force. Like I got to spend um, time home with them, and I got to be a stay-at-home mommy for mm-hmm. a couple of years. So I was really, really lucky. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, I was I've always had a yeah, job. Yeah. Well, my uh, first wife, she was always. Um, a stay-at-home mommy. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what our agreement was. She took care of the kids because we had three kids, mm-hmm. um, and I was the one that provided. Yeah, which is a very different model than basically anything today that I've yeah. seen. I don't. It's very rare that you see that. Yeah. But she did work at uh, at a horse stables and did some horsey stuff because yep. that's how she was raised, et cetera. And that's how our eldest was raised mm-hmm. in the horsey world. In the horsey world. In the horsey world. I'm scared of them. Why? They're so big. Don't don't be scared of the big ones. Be scared of the little ones. See, no, I'm, I'm a Doberman. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let me say it this way: If you get to the point where you anger one of the big ones, you will die. Right. If you get to the point where you anger one of the little ones, they may bite you. Okay. They're not going to kill you. Gotcha. But the big ones will kill you. I've never actually ridden a horse though. What? I've never I've never gotten on one. Really? Hmm. I mean, it's just like riding a horse. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll lock I don't that know one away. It. It's riding a horse is riding a horse. It's I like, mean, it's like a, mo- a really wide motorcycle that clumps along the way. Okay. Yeah, and and uh, it's fun. 
Riding yeah. a horse is fun. It, it's, it'll make you sore. Because you got to use your abdominals to keep yourself up. Yeah. Like, it's all abs. They say it's all, it's in the thighs. and I mean, it is a little bit in the thighs, but it's all core strength mm-hmm. to ride a horse properly. I got pretty like decent core strength. Like, if you see those, those uh, people that do the dressage and stuff like that, how they kind of bounce out of the, the seat. The what? Dressage. What's like, that? in the Olympics. Where they jump? No, that's jumping. Oh. <laughs> Massage is the fancy stuff where they where they get the the horse to like walk at an angle with and cross their legs and oh. do all that fancy stuff. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's dressage. Gotcha. It's the fancy horses. Okay. And the really expensive. The horses. prance and ponies. Yeah, they do the um, airs above ground where they actually jump and they get all four of their feet off of the ground at the same time. It's called that's a move called airs above ground. Yeah. Um, You're so horse educated. Well, because I mean, we had a horse farm for a little while. Yeah. And so I I got exposed to it. I wasn't ever. Actually, a horsey person. Yeah. My my oldest and my ex wife were horsey people. Yeah. Um, but I was never a horsey person. I just cleaned up the cleaned, cleaned up, up the, the horse poop. crap. <laughs> There's a theme going on here. There is. Man, I've dealt with a lot of crap in my life. You really have. <laughs> like I went from to clean up dog crap, which I still clean up the dog crap outside, to clean up horse crap, to still clean up dog crap. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I feel gypped. You do? Yeah. Why do I have to do all this crap? I cleaned up baby crab. Sounds like choices. I didn't do it. Sounds like choices. Mm. Yeah. Adult Speaking Lunchables. Of which, adult Lunchables. How do you like charcuterie that? Charcuterie is nothing but adult okay, Lunchables. First of all, don't pronounce it charcuterie. How do you going to say it? Char- no. No, you're right. <laughs> he says it wrong. But say it. Charcuterie. Yeah. There's no... It's charcuterie. No, I have a, I have a, I have a, a charcuterie. I used to work with a Scottish guy. He he doesn't work for us, our team anymore, but he would always accentuate it. charcuterie. 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 I took two years of French. <laughs> <laughs> that, I did. What, is that a French word? Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Sh- yes. Charcuterie. How do you say the thing that you uh, take two pieces of bread and you put some sort of substance between it? And Sandwich. You eat? Sandwich. 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 No. There's no sand in there. <laughs> it's it's sandwich. Yeah, but why would you eat something with sand in it? I didn't name why it. Why would you say it that way? It's sandwich. <laughs> you sandwich stuff together. I know. When you asked for a breakfast sandwich, that's what we brought you. Uh, exactly. It's a sandwich. You sandwich it between two pieces of bread. All right. I have a question. What? What defines a sandwich? Sandwich. Two pieces of bread. That's it? And stuff in the middle. So is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Hot dog is not a sandwich. What about a sandwich. pita? No, a pita is a pita. And don't say a taco because a taco is not a sandwich. Okay. It is so not. So it has to be two separate pieces of something. Correct. Two distinctly separate pieces of, most of the time, bread. Mm-hmm. I see people doing it with waffles now. But technically, it's still sandwiching stuff together. There's eggs, too. People are doing it with eggs, like eggs and then sausage in the middle. Yeah, because they're trying to be healthy or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, two pieces of bread. Stuff in the middle, sandwich it together. Not sandwich it together. You sandwich it together. I don't so, so it's the filling that makes a sandwich a sandwich. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Because usually a sandwich is uh, a variety of things. It's a potpourri of things in between the two pieces of bread. You have a peanut butter sandwich. And jelly. No, I mean, you could literally I just put peanut I will not do butter. a peanut butter sandwich by itself. Like, your mouth would, like, glue closed. Well... Because I was, when you made peanut butter and jelly when you were a kid, were your ratios perfect? I have no idea. Like, how much peanut butter did you use against your jelly? Did you have one that was larger than the other? I feel like maybe it was more jelly than peanut butter. Why? Because I didn't like my, like, mouth to be, like, I didn't like this, the stickiness of the peanut butter. Are you a crunchy or a creamy peanut butter person? Either or. What? You have to choose. No, I don't. You have to choose a side. No, I don't. Okay, how do you like your poopy cookies? Creamy or crunchy? Crunchy. So you're a crunchy peanut butter person. Wait, I think you need to explain. Yeah, poopy can you poopy explain cookies? Poop, roll poop, out with that. Poopy cookies. <laughs> <laughs> cookies are. You just talking about cleaning up dog crap and horse crap and his whole life oh is just a right, giant bag that. of sh. Please explain <laughs> poopy cookies for the people at home. Poopy cookies are this tradition in our family. People call them quick chocolate. Oat cookies, drop I think cookies, drop, drop cookies, cookies or whatever. No, but drop cookies are different. Quick, oh. quick chocolate. Yeah, oat cookies um, are basically what their formal name is. But we've always called them poopy cookies because when you make them, it looks like a pile of poop. A pile of poop mm-hmm. on, and they're no, they're no bake cookies. Um, and I actually 
have the recipe memorized, I could make it. Yeah. In fact, uh, my kids have always asked me, they're like, you need to write that down. I said, I'm not going to write it down. You have to memorize it. That's the only way that these, this recipe is going to be passed down in this family is you need to memorize it. So your auntie will give you the recipe. So <laughs> as I was saying <laughs> for Christmas one year, I got my oldest a cutting board with the recipe engraved on it. Aw. Yeah. That was sweet. Yeah, because I said I would never write it down. But anyway, we, we would make these things all the time when we were mm-hmm. kids. Like these They're were the, so good. They're the best because they were easy. You didn't have to bake them. It took you like 15 minutes. And cheap. And They're cheap. cheap. Yeah, well, not just, anymore. It's just, it's just sugar. It's sugar, butter. Shh, don't, uh, don't. I'm not telling them how much. Sugar, <laughs> butter. Um, chocolate squares. Evaporated milk. That's the first stage you use chocolate squares and not cocoa yeah i quit using cocoa because it's a pain in the butt Ah. i use chocolate squares see mom always used cocoa i know oh we was too broke to have them fancy chocolate squares (laughs) i mean nowadays it's about the same price yeah it really is and then so you you do something with that i'm not gonna tell you what you do because i'm not gonna write it down for these people um and then the second stage is when it's all heated you put in peanut butter oatmeal and a hint of vanilla Mm -hmm. and it hardens really quick, so you got to take it with a spoon and you got to put it on the wax paper yep. and let it cool down. And it serves the masses and it gives you a sugar rush like you wouldn't believe because there's oh, so they're much sugar. So good though, so good. They're so good. good. What's I've, your mess, I've messed them up before. I know. <laughs> I have. I've, I've I've made I've missed ingredients and they don't. They're not as good. They're not good. They're no. Not, when you miss those critical, pretty much all of it, any of it, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your peanut butter to jelly ratio? Oh, I'm heavy peanut butter. Really? I'm so heavy peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Yeah. And I found out that peanut butter is not good for you when you get older. Like it just hangs out. Yep. In all of your soft places. <laughs> your spongy, your gelatinous places you of try, your body. You can try natural peanut butter. What? Is it, peanut butter is natural? No. Okay. No? Can you read the ingredients? I don't like to read the ingredients and things. Mm-hmm. I don't look. I don't. I don't eat stuff because of what's in it. I eat stuff because of how it tastes. And I know that's horrible to say, especially since I'm in my mid forties now, that I should probably not do it like that. Yeah. But I don't care. Yolo. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> here's the fun thing: if you eat right and you exercise and you do all those things that you're supposed to do, you're going to die. Eventually. Correct. But you'll probably live a lot longer. Maybe. And feel better. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You have better skin. Maybe. Better hair. Maybe. Well, you don't have to worry about the hair. Except for here. Like Like look, I don't this is all just beautiful. I mean <laughs> Yeah. You rub peanut butter in it? <laughs> there have been times where peanut butter has been in those. And not on purpose. Uh, but Mrs. Dad would be like, You got something in your And she's like she's kinda like a bird sometimes. She'd be like that's not a bird thing. That's like a monkey thing. She like picks at it. Yeah. She's like, come here. I'm like, no, stop. I'm saving that for later. I like petting BJ in the mornings. I like just like, he like, he plays with my hair and I'll just like pet his beard. It's like, he likes it. It's therapeutic. Does he like spin your hair in his finger? No. No? Uh-uh. No. No. Like, just, like when we're watching stuff, like I'll just, I'll lay my head on his lap and he'll just, you know, play with my Mrs. Dad, but will never lay her head in my lap. Why? Because because you'll yeah. <laughs> She's scared. She should be. She's very scared. He he hasn't done that yet. Think you haven't done that. You guys didn't break the seal. No, we just, we do, I mean we just, we just don't do it like gross and appropriately. What's gross and inappropriate about it? It's natural. Farting when yeah. I have my head in his lap is gross and inappropriate. <laughs> there was one time though, one time when I I think I was like six or seven months pregnant with our first, and he freaking Dutch ovened me, and I almost <laughs> puked on him. It was so bad. It, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> If I wasn't six it's or seven months pregnant. See, here's the thing. It's a, it's a competition. No matter what she tells you, it's a competition. Between the she's two of you? She's just mad because she can't do it as often as I can. What do you mean? Fart? Like, she doesn't have the, the gastro situation that I've got going on. I don't even know what it is. It just is. Yeah, it's our genetics. That's what it is. It, it really is. But <laughs> she can't. She's not a producer like <laughs> She doesn't have Some like, people are gifted. Uh, some people have, yeah, yeah, some people have gifts. <laughs> Uh, but if she could, mm-hmm. oh, if she could, yeah, if she could, she'd run me out this damn house. Yeah, you guys have a weird relationship like that, but 
Look, man, it's natural. It just happens. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. <laughs> <laughs> and with that. That was that was one of my favorite white elephant gifts that, that I ever, ever did was like the whole the whole poop package that you got that I got you. Well, you ended up getting it in the white elephant. But it had like that book, Everybody Poops. Or no, it was What's Your Poop Telling You. Oh, it's downstairs in the apartment. Yeah. And then it had like poopery in it and yeah. it had something else in it. Like that was my favorite. I can't wait. We're going to do white elephant. So white elephant <laughs> is when you, uh, we as a family, buy enough gifts so that each person in the each family group, your group, mm-hmm. thing one's group, and then my group are represented yep. with a present. We put that all in a pile. We pick numbers, and the number represents the order in which you get to pick. Yeah. And so when your number's called, you go and you pick any of the gifts, mm-hmm. right? You open it, and the people after you can steal it. Yep. And each gift can only be stolen twice. Yep. And then it's done. That gift's off a table. Yep. And so uh, most of these are like gag gifts. I mean, it's not... We're not, we're not talking about record players or anything really no, nothing fancy exciting. or cool. It's, just, it's a bunch of gag gifts. And it's just something we do at Thanksgiving. Um, and it's funny to see, especially the kids, what they'll steal. Yeah. What they'll go after. The tarot cards were a big one. It, yeah, the tarot cards. Um, I like go, I just like buying the gifts. It's fun. Yeah. It gets pretty nuts. It gets pretty nuts. Like, it yeah, gets it gets pretty, pretty nuts. It, it gets, gets pretty, out of hand. It's going to be really interesting this year because we're going to have so yeah. many people... The extras. Yeah, so many extras. I got to buy a bunch of stuff. Crap. Yeah. Because they're all on my plate. All the extras are on my plate. They don't have to be. I'll take one. Huh? Yeah, we I'll can, take one. We can take one. We'll take one. Because I've got two, three, five extras. We'll take two. Yeah. We'll take two often. Yeah. We'll take two of them. You take two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll right, take you guys two. two. I'll take the other three. Because mm-hmm. it'll be fun with them. I love it because normally I'm the one who gets the gifts and nobody else in my family knows what I get. Nobody else knows. Oh, oh. Yeah. So it's yeah. all like... So it's super secretive. So yeah. this year, BJ in the morning is going to get them all, and it's yeah. going to be super secretive. Oh, you're going to get them all? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. He's going to pick them all out, so... That's uh, Secret Santa. If you guys do secrets... Or not secrets, or sorry. White, white, white elephant. elephant. If you guys do the white elephant, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Or what your other traditions, traditions are. We do that at Thanksgiving. Because we, we do. Have, we'll try to share some pictures of when we do down the road. Yeah. Yeah. When we do it. We'll talk about it some more. It's, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yeah. We got a Thanksgiving mm-hmm. episode we'll share some coming up. Eventually. He got the um, shut up and eat my meat apron. Yeah. <laughs> So much fun. Okay. You ready? To the comments? To the comments. Go to the comments. Go into the comments. All right. You <laughs> kick it off. Wait, wait. I want to. No, 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 no. I want to kick it off. You, okay. Because we have comments from Spotify now. We do? We have comments we have from Spotify. Spotify comments? Yeah, hey. we have Spotify comments. I love Spotify comments. I do too. All right. Uh, from Trina. Do you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie? My husband and I Ooh. watch it every year during Christmas time. This is another really polarizing one. I don't care if it's polarizing. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to answer? Correct. I'm asking you. I, I'm not I asking mean, myself. We don't we don't watch it during Christmas, but I can see why people would. But is it a Christmas movie? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't I don't I, like I don't. It's not one of the things that I put on during Christmas, but I can see why people would call it a Christmas movie. Hmm. It's a Christmas movie. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to be like, I don't, I don't want to go one way or the other. I'm literally indifferent. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> From YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> Dale Stein 105 said, KJ, you should create a script for dad bod to talk to his other voices. Okay. I need... More of his blonde girl voice. You mean Kelly the dad bod? Yeah. <laughs> she's super. Oh my God. She's like the best. You should um, make a script for me. I should. And actually, actually, I think I might do that. And it might be a little bit more than you guys are willing to. <laughs> so it'll be fun. Mm. <laughs> that could definitely be fun. I think I should do it. Um, but are we going to do all, do you want me to do all of Do you want me to do Kelly and Joey? You could do whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> Pick something. If you want me to do it, guy. do it. I can't believe she's asking me that question. All right. I got one for you. Um, at crazy, crazy Irish UDL 
They want to know, um, sorry guys, quick question. What do you use to keep your beard so nice um, and long? Thank you. You want to answer that one? My beard? (laughs) This guy. (laughs) Sorry. That was so good. (laughs) This guy. Um, uh, What do I use? Um, I have a guy. His name is Trevor. Okay. He's at Mod Barber Shop in Somerville. Um, I, I visit him probably every three weeks. Okay. And he's the one. He's the sculptor. He's the sculptor. He's the sculptor. Gotcha. Yeah. Between his my visits with him, um, I have a, a product that I use, mm-hmm. um, an oil and a beard balm, right? The wax. Mm-hmm. And a very nice blow dryer. Okay. Don't use a flat iron. What anybody tells you, don't use a freaking flat iron. Don't use one of those those ironing brushes, the straightening brushes that I tell you because it, oh, it, no. it burns your hair. Oh, no. It's, you're doing it all wrong. It burns your I hair. stopped using it. It burns, you? Your, yeah. it, it burns your hair. What if you use like a heat protectant? No, it's still going to burn your hair. Huh. It's still going to burn your hair. You don't need to do that. Okay. You need a good blow dryer. You oil it up mm-hmm. and use a nice thin comb, a, thin, a tight, tight tooth comb. Mm-hmm. Um, oil it. Comb it out. And hit it with the blow dryer while you're doing that? Yeah. Uh, and then you come back with the wax, and then you get it in your hand. You emulsify it in your hands really good. Okay. And you slick it down a little bit, and then you use a horse hair brush with the hair dryer again, and you just... It doesn't melt the, the horse hair? No, just with the blow dryer. Okay. Horse hair brush and the blow dryer at the same time, and you just basically... That that spreads the product around. So the, the, the oil is for your skin, mm-hmm. um, and also for your, for your hair a little bit. Okay. And then the the brush is to spread out the, the the wax and straighten it out. And that's all. That's all I do. But your like your beard though has has like kind of straight hair already. It's not like most people's beards where it's like really coarse and like curly. No, it's it's it would be really coarse and curly if I didn't do that. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Well, you trained it well. I've, it's been well trained. It looks great. Thank you. Yeah, people love and it. And thank you to Trevor. People love the Trevor beard. Trevor is the best. If you guys can get in with Trevor, well, first of all, good luck. Um, second of all, he's the best. And all it's right. a good conversation because he's a good old boy from South you Carolina. Name drop the DBV. Wait. J the Rue 223. Wait. Irish stout vinaigrette. I need this in my life. Well, it's not Irish stout vinaigrette. It's actually Irish stout balsamic vinegar. Can that you I hold use. that up a little bit? Can, I, can everybody see that? Everybody see that good? Yeah. This is from uh, Low Country Olive Oil, which is a place here. Uh, they've got some shops down in Somerville and downtown Charleston. This is the so best ish on earth. Mm. Okay. They have a whole bunch of flavors. Um, I am not sponsored by them. I'm just plugging their product because I like it. Um, go check them out. I think that you can buy them online, lowcountryoliveoil.com. Um, Irish Stout is the one that I use, but I've got a bunch of other fa- flavors, and they've got some sweet ones and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you can eat that stuff on ice cream. It's, it's good. Yeah, they've got all kinds of flavors that they infuse. Yeah. And their oils, too. Their oils are so good. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take the next one? Sure. Let's see. Mark Miramontes, I hope I pronounced that correct, 4074, asked, BJ in the morning, did we get how we got his name? Well, you want to answer that, BJ, in the morning? (laughs) (laughs) Funny story. Because you like mornings more than everyone else. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, who doesn't love BJ in the morning? This guy. (laughs) No, no. Um, There's, there's, like, seriously. There's a... There's no real story. There's no real story. Uh, It was actually a name that came from uh, us toying around with the idea of this podcast. We have a... A friend of our scuba Steve, um, our Panamanian drug lord, um, <laughs> he came up with the with yeah. the name. Just yeah. threw it out there, spitballing. Uh, yeah. We were trying to come up with names, and that's where BJ in the morning came from. Well, his name his name is BJ. He's Bob Junior. So yeah. um, so in the morning, just kind of it was in, like a natural progression felt, after that. It felt yep, right. it felt right, it and felt it right. fits him. It really does. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your question. Let's see. I'm going to read this one. Okay. Tom13GN said, great job, guys, as always. Thank you. 
I love the fact that you made it a family affair. I would love to hear what DBV and Mrs. DBV did in their respective services. I'm a retired Air Force air traffic controller myself. So, Tom, thank you for your service. Thank you. Yeah. You want to? Um, so, Mrs. DBV, who is still not here, um, she was a um, industrial hygienist in the Air Force, which I think is called a B, right? What? That's what they call them? The bees. A B? A B. Are I you thinking know. about CBs? No, 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 not CBs. Not okay. CBs. And um, BJ, you were also in the Air Force. What were you? Um, so I was uh, civil engineering. I was a structures, uh, structures. guy. And then I uh, cross-trained. I was a fire protection mm -hmm. uh, for a couple years. He was then a I, hot firefighter. Then I cross-trained back. <laughs> Did you join calendars? Uh, if they had a calendar? <laughs> Not published. <laughs> we weren't allowed to publish those. Uh, no, it was private only. Uh, Hit me up later. Oh, uh, my fans. No. <laughs> no, uh, structures, fire department. Then I went back into structures and ended up uh, teaching tech school before I got out. So a couple different jobs. Yep. Yeah. What did you do, DBV? I was a fire controlman in the Navy. We blew stuff up. We weren't firefighters. We were the ones that on the ships that operate the missile systems and stuff. And then I was security here at South Carolina before I got out and got to be able to stay home in South Carolina. So that's what I did. Nice. Thank you guys and Mrs. DBV and everybody watching for your service. I'm, I'm a civilian. I don't have a cool story. Wah, wah. No, wah, you're, wah. you supported us. You supported me. And that's the hardest job in the military. <laughs> as, as Mrs. DBV <laughs> like to say, like a jock strap, I'm just here to support. Just here to support. Yeah. Shout out to all the spouses. No. Yeah. Hardest it's job hard. in the military. Hardest yeah. job hard. in the military by far. It is hard. Wasn't your mom an air, air traffic controller? Uh, she was. She was. No, she was, uh, yeah. She was on A-10s. I know that. Uh, crew chief. Crew chief on A-10s. I thought your dad, my dad, no, your was, dad a bomb, was a My dad was a bomb loader on A-10s. That's right. And that's how they met. That's Marine right. Air Force oh, Base. he was loading some bombs on her plane. <laughs> Thanks Gross. for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> well, well, well. Moving right along. Um, okay. Uh, uh, let's see. So, Chet... Tube T Chow, I think. I think. Is that what you would call that? Chet Tubachal? Oh, thank you. Chet Tubachal. English. Um, so growing up in an Air Force family, how or why did you choose the Navy? My wife and I are both retired Air Force. We fully acknowledge the truth in all of the pampered Air Force memes, but do not apologize for any of the hotels <laughs> or per diem. So why did you choose the Navy in an Air Force family? Funny story. Um, I went to the Coast Guard recruiter and they said I couldn't join the Coast Guard. Um, okay. And so I went to the Navy recruiter. You never went to the Air Force? I never went to the Air Force recruiter. Never even thought about it? Never even thought about it. Uh, nope. Because because the Navy has, uh, he might get mad at me for this, has better technical training. And so the opportunity for employment outside of uh, the military Navy traditionally has a better technical training and, and better uh, direct correlation into the civilian world. Gotcha. Mm. Because, see, mm. <laughs> I knew that was going to be sparky. Uh -oh. actually, actually taught uh, training to both the Tri-Service Navy, Air Force, and Army. Yeah. So being heavily did involved teach, in that. Did yeah. you teach CBs? Yeah. 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 Taught yeah. CBs. Uh, different, different realm. CBs are a different breed than, yeah, than different breed. traditional Navy. Special. Uh, yeah. They're special guys. Yeah. So, uh, so love but them. as an FC, I got a lot of electronics and yeah. that kind of training though. I never really actually used it. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> Glad I didn't use it. Um, no, there, there, there's a much longer story. Maybe one day I'll tell you the, the story about me going to the recruiter's office, but uh, for now that's where we're going to leave it. All right. All right, and Quarter Bubble Garage, 4946, born in Tuscon, doesn't like a ranch and calls her husband BJ in the morning. To think I came here to see the dad bod veteran and found a surprising co-host. Oh. This is a compliment. This is a great podcast. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Thank yes. you for the compliment. And, she and adds different flavor to the, <laughs> to the spices. I'm the spice. I'm the but spice. back to Spotify. Mm -hmm. Because I did a... I did a uh, I did a poll on Spotify because you can do polls on Spotify. That's cool. Yeah. So out of episode two, the shenanigans episode, I asked, would you like to hear more story time with dad bod? Okay. And unanimously, we'll go from the lowest ones. 
Who cares? More podcasts. Seven percent said that. Okay. No, we get enough of him. Three point eight percent said that. Eighty eight point five percent said yes. Yep. We love the voice. So, without further ado, you gotta give the people what they want, man. Gotta give what they want. You gotta give the people what it's they want. It's time for story time with Dad Bot. Today's reading. Let's cue that music. Cue the music, BJ. <laughs> we'll be from The Day My Thought Followed Me Home. Oh. Another adult child's book. <laughs> Look at that's a cute little fart. <laughs> <laughs> He's like feral little shat. <laughs> this is by who is this by? Ben Jackson and Sam Lawrence. <clears throat> You're the dad bug. <laughs> You're the dad bug. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So I just, I got to get in. No, it's good. <laughs> it's great. This isn't easy. I can't just turn can't it on just... and off. No, I no. can't just. Timmy was walking home from school when he had a feeling he was being followed. What are you? Timmy asked, looking at the furry little green creature in front of him. I'm your little fart. The little fart blurted out excitedly. You're my what? Timmy exclaimed. You heard me right. The creature giggled, leaping down from the tree stump. He pointed a stubby green finger at Timmy. We are going to be best friends forever. <laughs> Little Fod giggled again as he jumped up and down. That's Little Fart. <laughs> it's so cute. He's so cute. Timmy was getting a little bit concerned now. What if someone saw him walking home with a furry little green creature that smelled funny? <laughs> what if they smelled it? You can't follow me home, Timmy blurted out, panicking. Why not? You always leave me behind and run away. <laughs> <laughs> well, not today. Now we can be best friends forever. Little thought replied. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Brushing oh, up against wow. Timmy's leg. You see the fart <laughs> hold on his leg. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> but um, what if someone sees you? Timmy asked. <laughs> well. They can't see me, silly. Only you can, Little Thought replied. Okay, well, that's not too bad, said Timmy, breathing a huge sigh of relief. But they can smell me. <laughs> no one else can see me, but everyone can smell me, <laughs> Little Thought said, beaming proudly. He was glad to be helping Timmy learn all about Little Thoughts. Oh, no, they will think I have farted everywhere I go. Timmy shouted, holding his hands over his face. <laughs> Timmy was really starting to sweat now. His whole life could be ruined by one little thought. Hee <laughs> hee! Little thought giggled, holding his hands over his mouth. It's not funny, you know. My life will be ruined. Everyone will think I'm smelly. Timmy exploded. As he got closer to home, Timmy decided that he had to get away from the strange, smelly little creature. He broke into a sprint, not bothered to stop and look back. He just ran. He ran into his house, slamming the front door loudly behind him. Hi, Mom! Timmy blurted in between gasps as he ran up the stairs. This was no time to stop for small talk. He shut himself in his bedroom and struggled to catch his breath. Boom! An excited little voice shouted behind him. Surprised to see me? Little Thought said. Oh my, Timmy cried, almost falling off his bed with surprise. How did you get here? Timmy asked, looking around his room. As you can see, Timmy and the Fart are having an intimate moment in the bedroom. <laughs> that was fast running. Can we do it again? <laughs> Little Thought asked. <laughs> did you just snort? <laughs> How on earth did he do that? Timmy wondered. 
scratching his head, perplexed by the small green creature so determined to be his friend. Timmy sighed and looked at Little Thought sitting next to him. I suppose he isn't that bad, Timmy thought to himself. Okay, if we're going to be friends, then we need to make some rules, Timmy said, scratching his head in thought. Sure, we will be friends forever, <laughs> Little Thought shouted, jumping up and down, and then he hugged Timmy excitedly. Okay, okay, Timmy laughed as he hugged Little Thought back. Perhaps having a secret friend to talk to wouldn't be such a bad thing, even if he was a bit clingy <laughs> and smelly. <laughs> That's all for today. Oh, my God. <laughs> my Little Fart Home Followed Me Home by Ben Jackson and Sam Lawrence. Great book. Pick it up. It's on Amazon. Oh, my God. <laughs> And that's all we have for today. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> if a fart gets that clingy, is it really just a fart? <laughs> You'll have to buy the book and read the rest of it. <laughs> Don't want to give it all away. Oh my god, that's all I could think. Like, if this fart is really holding on this much, I don't think he's just a fart, bro. <laughs> As adults, your farts change. They never change. trust a fart when never, you're an adult. Never, never trust a fart. Ever trust and a never fart. Never pass a bathroom. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, oh, good okay. times. Good times. Well, um, I think that's about enough for, for today. Yeah, we're I think do, that's good. We're going to do this again in a couple weeks. We um, will. <laughs> uh, Mrs. DBV will be back, so she hopefully will. she'll hey. rein us in. Because oh, <laughs> we, 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 need need we need some focus. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing. This thing is all over the place. <laughs> all right. Well, um, as always, check out the merch store. I do have some hats like this one right here. They are available right now. I don't know if they're going to be available when this actually posts, but they're still there. And the coins will be here probably in the next month. So check the merch store for those. Those are going to go like hotcakes, mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, any final thoughts? KJ? Nope. I'm I'm a blank slate, man. <laughs> Nothing going on upstairs. Sorry. I can't think of anything else but farts right now. <laughs> BJ in the morning, anything from you before we get out of here? Huh? Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, yeah. That was so much fun. Thanks, everybody, <laughs> right. for watching. Well, between now and the next time we see you, check your feelings. Check them. <laughs> Bye, everybody. God. <laughs> <laughs> My makeup is <laughs> <laughs>